Hypersonic, we developed a hypersonic aircraft uh, that are powered by scramjet engines and we use hydrogen as fuel. So that is, you know, we're really the only company out there that are supplying those types of flat platforms to the marketplace. Um, Michael and I co-founded the business just over three years ago. We went to university together, Queensland University. Michael was the smart one, he did hypersonics, I was satellite engineering. And we got together about three, four years ago, actually after the foundation or formation of the space agency here in Australia, and we decided to set up hypersonics. Uh, the idea was to commercialise the technology that Michael had worked on, developed at NASA and the University of Queensland, and provide space launch and defence applications for that technology. Uh, we're a deep tech sector, so we're inventing the market. You know, we're developing market opportunities based on applications for the technology. So, uh, and we've been quite successful in that, if I do say so ourselves. Well, we've actually been sort of talking to Rocket Labs since probably 2020, yeah. um, and di about different things. But this latest um, project, where where Rocket Lab is, will boost our flyer uh, to Mark Seven, probably three to four months. So not too long, actually. Yeah, no, it's a great opportunity for hypersonics. Our company, we make hypersonic aircraft, so we fly through the air at very, very high speed. But to boost up to the speeds where our scramjet engines operate, we need a booster provider. And so Rocket Lab are going to be our partner in that. Uh, well, we're not sure actually where it will be launched from. Like Rocket Lab actually have a launch site in New Zealand, but also one in the east coast of the US at Wallops Island. And so they launched from both of those places. Yeah, so the first deliverable is a flight by the end of uh, 2024. So that's our first deliverable. But the overall project is to do three flights. I think potentially could be very big and different types of applications. There are short term applications to supply testing services to, to different customers, but then there's like the small satellite, um, responsive small satellite launch uh, as well. So, you know, this is sort of just the start of our journey really. It's a, it's a great step along our journey. Uh, Rocket Lab is a very successful new space company. Uh, we're a new space company ourselves, so we're trying to drastically change the way we access space, the way we use, bring technology to deliver benefits. I mean, the main thing about us is we've got a reusable scramjet engine that's hydrogen powered, works at multiple speeds, so everywhere from Mark 5 to Mark 12. And we're unique in the marketplace for that. And that reusability is opening up all sorts of new applications that just weren't even dreamed of five years ago. So that, that's what we're doing. That's how we're providing using scramjets to access space. That's how we're looking at reusable platforms for traveling faster around the world. And uh, speed matters. We all know that.